Now so let's talk about the second problem. Sampling is fixed size sample. Now different from before, in this new case, as the string grows, the sample is of fixed size. Now let's suppose we need to maintain a random sample S of size exactly S tuples. Now, so why do we need this? This is because we don't know the length of a string in advance. However, one machine or several machines can only have fixed size uh, of in, in the main memory. Therefore, we have no choice but to uh, sample a fixed size of data. So let's suppose that at time t we have seen, uh, at time n, we have seen n items. Then we want that each item would be in the sample S with equal probability as open end. So how do we think about this problem concretely? Let's say that we have the sample size S equals to two, and we have the data stream as follows, A, S, C, Y, et cetera, et cetera. Then at, at time n equals to five, we want that each of those first five tuples is included in a sample S with equal probability. Not only that, we also want that at time uh, n equals to seven, each of the seven, this first seven tuples is included uh, in the sample S with, uh, with also equal probability. Note that in an impractical solution will be to store all the n tuples seen so far and then out of them to, uh, to pick S elements at random. This is not possible because we only have space to say, let's say two elements. Therefore we cannot afford to save all the n tuples. And the solution is actually uh, quite intuitive and simple. Uh, it's called reservoir sampling and it goes as follows. We'll first store all the first S elements of the stream to S. And then let's suppose that we have seen uh, the n minus one elements. And now the nth element arrives. For example, we have seen all these, uh, the first five elements here, and then the new element arrives. Then with probability S of n, we're gonna keep this nth element. And, and then if we do decide to keep this new element, then it, this new element is gonna replace one of the old elements. The one of the uh, one of the S O elements in the sample S, and we're gonna pick this old element uh, randomly, uniformly. Now, more concretely, let's say that we uh, already seen these five elements, and a new element arrives. Then, if we do decide to keep this new element, then we will need to randomly select one of the old elements. And discard it because we only have we only have space for for five elements, right? Now the claim is that this algorithm maintains a sample S with the desired uh, probability. Uh, that is, after n elements, the sample contains each element seen so far with probability S over n. And we can actually prove this by induction. Let's assume that after n elements, the sample contains each element seen so far with probability S over n. And then we need to show that after seeing the, the element n plus one, the sample maintains the property, which is the sample contains each element seen so far with probability S over n plus one. We can see that we, uh, as we see a new sample, the denominator n here needs to become n plus one. So as in all proof by induction, we have a base case here. So the base case is that after we see n equals to s elements, the sample s has the desired property already. That is uh, each after the n equals S elements in the sum is in the sample with probability S over S equals to one. So basically, uh, each element is in the sample with one hundred percent probability, and it's it's true, right? And um, 
Here is the inductive hypothesis. After the nth element, the sample S contains each element seen so far with probability S over N. And now the element N plus one arrives. And here comes the inductive step. The inductive step starts with the fact that for each element already in S, the probability that the algorithm keeps it is uh, keeps it in this sample S is actually given by the following equation. So it has two terms, right? The first term is the probability that this new element is discarded. So as long as the new element is, is not kept, it's discarded, then all the old element in, in a sample will be saved. It will not be discarded. So the algorithm will still keep it. And the second term here is for the case where uh, the new element is kept, it's not discarded. So the first part here is the probability that the element, this new element n plus one is not discarded. And the second part here is the probability that the any one of this uh, old element in the sample uh, is not picked. So it's the same because we have a total number of S old element then the probability that one element is not picked would be S minus one over S, right? And if we add them up, if we add them up, we'll have the uh, final probability as N over N plus one. And so far we, we know that at time N, before, before the new element arrives, then the, each tuple in the sample S were there with already with the probability S over N, right? This is, this is uh, coming from the inductive hypothesis, which we assume to be true. And then at time N plus one, the new element arrives, the new element N plus one arrives, and then the old tuple stay in sample S with probability N over N plus one. And this is, uh, this is coming from the inductive step that we calculate here. Therefore, the probability that the old tuple is kept uh, in S at time N plus one would be the product of this two probability, right? So it would be N S over N times N over S N plus one. So it, the probability will be S over N plus one, which is exactly what we want to prove. 